that. Are you ready for your spicy lunchtime treat that we promised? Well, 2009 has already kicked off for a great start for our next guest. She's happier, slimmer, and sexier than ever. Known to millions as Scary Spice and as one-fifth of the Spice Girls, she's sold millions of albums, traveled the world, made headline after headline, and become a British icon. From Zigga Zigga to Who Do You Think You Are and Goodbye, their catchy and memorable songs have all the ingredients to be classics for a long time to come. Now you tell me that you fall out in love Well, I never, ever thought that would be hey, This time, you gotta take it easy Throwing far too much emotions at me Welcome, Mel B. Hello, hi, ladies. Hi, how are you? Can I say you look better now? Oh, I mean, thank we're you. just watching like a little montage there of the Spice Girl, and we we all said all of you look. Fabulous! Now you oh, do, do you nice. feel better now? Do you do you I feel, do feel better actually? Yeah. Do you feel my like you've kind of grown good. into yourself, as it were? Yeah, grown into my own skin. Yeah, I like that. How does it feel looking back at all of that? Kind of makes me laugh a lot. <laughs> 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 I really wore that, and my head. Yeah, it's, it's good though. It gives good good feelings and, and good memories. And how much control did you have at that time? Because obviously, when we when we think of you all, you all had <coughs> your you know your your little names, your little looks, and all this sort of stuff. Who came up with the whole scary spice? Name? It was actually a, a teeny bopper magazine that came up with all our names. But mine, I like because I actually began to frighten people without even having to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> so it actually worked to my advantage, thank God. And did yeah. you think you all did? You just sort of play up on it once you'd all yeah, been sort of labelled, as, as it were. They, they did end up being quite fitting, though. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a fantastic legacy, isn't it? Because we've had all four. We've had four of you on now. I know. The only one who hasn't is Emma. Victoria. Was actually a loose woman yeah, for a while. She was. I heard for a whole week she was loose. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I want to be one. Yeah. 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 You You haven't gone all LA with your accent as well. Oh no, I can't get rid of this. I cannot get rid of this. It's your actual accent. It's a northern. You don't. I don't want to get rid of it. No, but it's. But remember when Sheena Easton came back when she'd been there? Do you remember? And she came back with that. Oh no. You know that real. Pretending that. She couldn't remember that that a lift was you know oh, oh an elevator. elevator what's it called in England again you think oh, oh shut no. up <laughs> that's silly. Silly. But do you oh, know no. what you're sick of talking about the Spice Girls though I mean I no, absolutely I love from. it I know that's it wouldn't my change everything. anything no I wouldn't change it for the world does it Not. feel like it's been 15 years since oh, you all got together because it, uh, it's staggering to think it's been that, that is long. a long time isn't it yeah. I feel old now, a little bit old. <laughs> <laughs> no. Are you loving LA though? Is, I, mean, I is do that, love oh, it. Oh, it must be fabulous. And my kids love it and the sun shines oh, every day. Yeah. It's a really nice outdoor way of life. Slightly different from Leeds then, is Just it? A bit. <laughs> yeah. Just a bit. But I'm back like every month so I don't get to every miss London or Leeds. Back, do you? Yeah, for work and see the family and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, and do, come do, you, do you go up to Leeds? I'm going up to Leeds on Friday, actually. Fantastic. Fancy night out. I'm coming yeah. to LA. Can I be in the gang? Oh, no, I'm going to be in Vegas in February. You've got to come oh, down you do, to oh, Vegas. Oh, you're doing your burlesque show? Yeah. <gasps> We're kind of burlesque. What's it like then? What, do you, what, what kind of I thing is it? I haven't started my rehearsals yet, but, you know, Jerry Mitchell, who created the whole thing, created Hairspray on Broadway, so it's going to be a very wow. classy show with a bit of skin. And it's just you, is it? Well, it's me and 25 dancers. <gasps> yeah, but you're the... It's, it's the people are coming to see you. Scared. Oh, my Scared. God. <laughs> How long for, Mel? How long will you do it for? I do it to the end of July, and then I take a long, long break. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's eight that. shows a week, six six days a week. Oof. Fantastic. So will you take the whole family with you? Because obviously yeah. that, that's a that's a fair amount of time. You're just going to decamp kids. everyone. Have you got the whole kind of showbiz thing? Are you staying in one of the big We're fancy hotels? We're staying at the, the, the top of Planet Hollywood. But, you know, living in Vegas, even though Vegas is quite crazy, my best friend is Tony Braxton, and okay. she's raised her two kids there. And it's, a, it's quite a suburban life off the crazy street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank God. It is. Uh, have you had a loved-up Christmas? That's what we want to know. Yeah. We're a bit loved up on it. Yeah. Yeah, well, well, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. I was in LA with yeah. the kids and Santa is still very much alive. Good. Good. Yeah. Of course he is. Which I love. Yes. 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 We went to see him, didn't we, Denise? We did. Yeah. We went to Lapland, didn't we? <laughs> we saw the yeah. real Santa. Oh, look, we've been there. We took competition winners to Lapland. Yeah, That's loved it. Skills. Loved it. Now, it's obviously, great. you know, we were, we were talking earlier in the show about finding Mr. Right. And now, obviously, you have to kiss a few frogs before you find your prince. <laughs> Tell um, me about it. <laughs> <laughs> For so long. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, which obviously, you know, we all have it at some point or other. Would, would you say you is there any rhyme or reason to it? How would you say you finally found your Mr. Right? I think it's more of a gut feeling. Like, even though saying that I met my husband eight years ago, but he was my friend, so he was my best friend first. Which my mum used to always say, make sure they're mm. your friend first, and I never believed her. But now I do, because, you know, he's, he's my everything, and we know each other inside out. Well, You've got you three kids between you, haven't you, now? The three, yeah, 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 three yeah. girls. What would you say is the difference between him and maybe other men that you've dated? Did, did you know the other right men are away? horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be not very nice, oh, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> no, he's lovely, and he's the same age as me, so we have a lot in common. Yeah. Did is you ever have to search, though? Hi. Oh. Did you ever have to search, search for anyone? Of course I did, a little did bit. Yeah. I can't believe I'm even admitting that. <laughs> <laughs> did you, did you make a looked. list? Did you have a plan? Because I, always, I did have a little list, yeah. yeah. And what was, was on that it? list? Um, do I have to tell you? No. Did he? No. 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 Good. You good. Good. Tell, us, tell, tell us a couple of the boxes that he did tick, then. I'm not going to tell you. Too rude. Did we get that? The right one. It was. Um, <laughs> you're going to be staying, you're staying, at you're gonna be staying with us, aren't you? Yeah. Until, until yeah. after the break. We're going to take a quick break here, but as I say, Mel B is going to be staying with us. I don't go anywhere. Back in a bit. Loose action for today. Right, it's time for your second go at uh, today's competition, uh, where this week we're giving away one marvellous prize of £10,000 to spend at Marks & Spencer. If you fancy a fabulous kickstart to your year, remember, you need to be in it to win it. Just answer the following question correctly. Which of these is not a sign of the zodiac? Is it A, Capricorn, B, Aries, or C, Pluto? Call 9912 Calls cost one pound from BT landlines. Calls from other networks may be higher and from mobiles will be considerably more. Text your answer A, B, or C to 63303. Text cost one pound plus one standard network rate message. Digital satellite viewers can enter by pressing their red button now. You can also enter for free at itv.com. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines closed 10 a.m. Saturday the 10th of January. Entries made after this time won't be counted but may still be charged. Best of luck with that. Now we're delighted to say that Melby is still with us. <laughs> and I have to say, Mrs, you, I know we mentioned, you know, all you Spice Girls look fabulous, but you're looking extra glamorous. You're looking Aww. very, very fit. Yeah, is is this you. something to do with your fitness DVD? It is. I've been doing that workout on and off for about eight years. So I know it works. I haven't got eight years. <laughs> <laughs> so if you do consistency for like four or five weeks, you'll definitely see results. Now, one, one of the things, we had a little chat before we came on, and one of the, the good things about this is that you do it in little bursts. It's like a minute yeah, of this, a minute, a minute of, this. of that. So you've um, no time to get stomachs, bored. Yeah. Mm. Is, that, is that how it works? Yeah, I think you have to burn out that muscle. Like I do three minute abs, you end up doing 200 abs in three minutes and it changes like every 10 or 11, 11 counts. It's not the boredom though, is it? It's the torture. You see, this is what I can't <laughs> do. I am on all the way oh, through it. Look, 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 well, oh, you would do it because oh, oh it's me. It. <laughs> <laughs> because it's a minute, minute it's sort of loss, isn't it? <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> But do you find that sometimes a, a normal minute goes by in a minute, like really, really quick? If you're exercising, a minute is. takes an hour. Well, that's why I talk a lot. <laughs> I can't bear it. I talk a lot and I, I complain a lot also, so I'm real and I'm sweating. Does, does, how many crunches can you do in a minute then? Do you know, abs? can do like Did about 50. Fi are you 50? sure? Controlled, yeah. At our Easily. age. <laughs> no, you can't. And then you build your stamina up. That's why it's in minutes. Yeah. Does that include sitting back up and taking it back out of the machine? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, just take it out. <laughs> well, did you start all this after you had a baby, didn't you? Didn't you, didn't you no, you well, after stone? my first baby, Phoenix. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. And then with Angel, I put on a lot of weight, so I got back into the swing with this DVD. Can I say I was really reassured? You put on four stone, didn't you? Yeah. So did I. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that yeah. made me I like you even more. Andrea. No, it's <laughs> <not the competition. laughs> also, what it is. must have got you, oh, well, you always were fit, but, you know, sort of added to it was, was Dancing with the Stars, which oh, I yeah. loved you on. Did you, did I you did love that? that? 
that was hard work, but it was so much fun. And America actually liked me. I didn't think they'd be able to understand what I was saying. You were yeah. second my that, accent, weren't you? But they did, yeah. You came second. You should have won it. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Yeah, I'm joking. Who, who? Oh, someone, I don't know. Some American. <laughs> Some American. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you think then that this is it now? Because obviously you've been in LA for six years now. Yeah. You've come second on, you know, Tessa probably one of the out. biggest shows that there is in America. Yeah. They like you. How, how are you going? How are you going to work on that? What, what have you got in store? Well, my show in Vegas. I'm headlining that show, and then I'm going to take a break, and then just see what happens. You've got a TV series though, something like a Hannah Montana thing, have you? Yeah, well, uh, that's in the works, so that should be out soon too. Brilliant. Sounds like I've got a lot of things. I am like a stay-at-home mum in the midst in of all this as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, how old are you, Mel, if you don't mind me asking? You're 33. 33. I can't believe I've exposed my age. Yes. <laughs> I'm 33. At 33, you've done so much. I mean, you've world domination already. Is there, With is the there... help of my four friends, yeah. I could have done it, it by myself, that's for sure. But is there anything else that you yourself would like to do? God, that's a good question. I have to think about that. You've stunned me. Well, you tell us secrets, or you like us, we don't have any. See, oh, where do you keep them? Or just do other people just expose them for you? Yeah, they expose the secrets that are not true. But no, I've always kept a, a diary. Oh, like, have you? Since I was about 12, 13. Every day? Not every day. When I was on tour, like, ten years ago with the Spice Girls, I'd keep one every day. And actually, the other girls would complain and go, oh, God, that book comes out again, because they'd all write in it. Oh, yes. So it's nice to go back and have a look. Written. Oh, yeah. It's not on a computer. No, I'm not, no. no, I wouldn't do that. I'd probably delete it all mm. without <laughs> realising it. <laughs> yeah. You're a bit like Denise. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Mel, your, your DVD is out now. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be snaffling a copy of that because I want that tummy. Uh, hopefully it'll take less than, uh, than eight years. No, it's say. four to six weeks. And you know what I did is I do my workout with my friends. Ah. So it becomes more of more a gang fun. thing. Fun. Yeah. yeah. Well, well uh, that's it, girls. I'm going to be dragging there you all go. in together. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you so much for coming no, on the show. Thank you Mel B, me. everyone. <laughs> Up another loose lunch. We'll be sure to tune in again tomorrow for some loose Friday fun. Well, we'll be joined by the latest lady to cause trouble on Coronation Street. That's actress Margie Clark. And Girl Band the Saturdays will be easing you into the weekend. You don't want to miss it. 12:30, ITV1. See you then. Bye bye.